What's going on, y'all? Hope everyone's having a great day. Hope you guys are enjoying yourself. Um, my camera thing broke, so luckily, I have Steven. Steven is a fantastic camera person. Steven, would you like to say hi to everyone? Hello, everybody. There you go. So, uh, it's been a week. I know, guys, I, I've, I've been trying to get content made. I've been here. It's 8 o'clock at night. Uh, it, it's just one of those things. We've been staying later and later, like, every day. But um, we got a new car in the shop, new 1970 Mustang, which is pretty okay. Um, coming through here, I've got tools all over this place. There's some spark plug sockets, some lights. There's... A mess over here that has to get taken care of. This thing's moved, which is beautiful. And as you can see, my workspace is terrible right now. If you check out the old time auto toolbox, toolbox tour of Kevin's, at the very end you'll see how bad this thing got. Uh, so I'm going to clean up and then we'll uh, bring you a little video, guys. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, I finally got my area cleaned up about 30 hours later. About time. All right. Oh, with all the work we've had. Um, we got the scout pretty much buttoned up today. We got, we got the Lincoln motor coming out today. Uh, it, it's just been busy. Then you did three more jobs today. Yeah. So um, I wanted to get content out to you guys. I've been wanting to do a tool haul. So that's what we're going to get into. Um, Uncle Bill's going to comment on my poor life spending decisions. Quite a few of them. Oh, so, I think let's start off with uh, some, well, let's go with this OTC vacuum cage. This is part number 5613. I figured it helped with uh, diagnosing carbs and stuff like that and just tuning. I could have used that this morning. Well, you should have told me. You know you had it. Yeah, well, now you know. He doesn't tell me anything. I just buy tools, guys, because it comes in handy. So that's good for tuning carburetors, yes. Yeah, so that's me fantastic tool. And it's gonna go on the roll or the blue point cart because I don't have any more room in my epic or my orange roll cart. Um, as you can see, we're kind of sitting down. I got two new Sun X chairs. Another way for him to be lazy. Yes. Well, I mean I gotta edit these videos and we come on now. Uh and I provide you with a computer and everything. What more do you want? You? Well yeah, well you're the sweetest. You're the bestest. Uh, next up, got this master cool kit. Well, the shop didn't have one when we acquired the shop, and you know, we're working on a bunch of classic cars all the time. It's not something you're going to be able to grab off the shelf as far as brake lines and stuff like that. So I bought this master, master cool kit, part number 72485. We have a 65 Plymouth Fury 2 outside that needs all new brake lines ran. Need suspension and all kinds of stuff. So I figure this may come in handy for it. Pop this little guy open. And there's it. There's your kit right there, guys. That's a nice set. That is. Cost a pretty penny, too. Don't tell the wife. You know, I'm glad you brought that up because I did tell the wife what I was spending. And I, I kind of explained it to her in the fact of I went from Class 8 or heavy equipment to Class 8 trucks. Back to equipment, now I'm working on automotive stuff. I need new tools. I mean, yeah, the basics work for everything, but there's some specialty stuff. Swapping motors, making sure everything's got oil up top. I mean, things beeping. So, make sure it's got oil pressure, all that stuff. We could prime the motors up with one of these. This is for uh, Chevys, uh, small blocks and whatnot. So. Something good I thought we should have. Um, nothing too crazy. $18 tool from Amazon. Next up, 454 Big Block Chevy barring tool. I've got a 454 that's been sitting in my storage unit for probably three years now that I'd like to get started on. I don't have anything for it to go in, but I want to. I don't want to crossbreed. These bugs, man. But yeah, so. This is for that. If we get a uh, big block Chevy that needs, you know, any sorts of timing chain or things of that nature, this might just help out once we get the whole front of the motor pulled apart. Slap it on and be able to roll everything over. Uh, another tool from Amazon, I think it was like 12 bucks. 
Um, I've got a Sun X1 for small block Chevy in there. That has actually worked out. Such pretty. a good tool, it don't even have a part number. Exactly. On. Exactly. It's just a circle with a line and a square. Um, <laughs> buying tool sets from Snap On, my 3 8 or half inch impact sockets for my metric side goes up to 24, 25. The shallows do not go that deep. So. I had to pick up some more sockets off the snap-on truck. Got that out of the done with. Pretty happy about that. Completed that set so they match. Oh, we will have a toolbox set up, or at least a roll cart. I did purchase a roll cart. We'll be here Monday. Yes. And Joe will be able to have fun showing you all the aspects of setting that bad boy up. See, I'm glad you made that poor life decision, Bill. <laughs> Is your wife going to beat me if she sees it? No. Uh, Mine doesn't do what yours does. Mine is a very loving and caring woman. My wife's loving and caring. Just She loves and cares for me to be at home more than at the shop for 14 hours a day. And she loves it when I don't buy all these tools. But it makes me happy, so that should make her happy. Anyways, um, y'all have suggested these Nebo lights. So I had to pick one of these up They're on Prime Deals or Prime Day, whatever it was. You know, the Overlord Bezos, he had his day where these things are cheap. So for, I think it was like 20 bucks, got a new light. Because when you have 20 that are just dead, you got to add the 21st. The other day, he tried to find the flashlight. Every yeah. one of them was dead. Yeah, no problems. Leave me alone. If you want to <laughs> random stuff. Ooh. Oh, that's just never box. So, we had the, what was that, Blue 54 Ford deal truck? Is that 55? That's 55. Okay, so we got this Blue 55 Ford, and we had it up in the air the other day looking at it. I noticed the drive line was way off, so I just figured something nice to have in the shop. I mean, just to be able to check everything and make sure it's square enough. You know, kind of like being good enough for who it's for. But inclinometer, that's how you say it, angle gauge. But it's magnetic. It has lasers on it. Because who doesn't love lasers? Probably could have hanged stuff up in the office with this whole thing. Probably. Make everything laser straight. But so, yeah, just through checking drive lines and stuff like that. You know, if we run into a situation where the customer wants everything put in it's, it's called a two-sided laser digital display inclination box get it right it's a little square thing with the lights on it and it's got little laser pointers like r2d2 type stuff with some numbers like they taught me in school you have one two nail or that thing it's one of them they don't have the pictures on it like the, the, the one at home does um so, next up, nothing crazy. It's like Noid lights. Very good. Noid lights set just because it's cheap. This is their ATD tools. Um, may get to use them, may not. If not, it is what it is. But we'll see if they come out to play. everything. Yeah, I'm still having them. Whatever. This is like a screwed up Christmas special. Pretty much. Oh. That's a wrap. They got to wrap tools up. You didn't uh, even open this one. What the hell? I haven't opened anything yet. All uh, that's open? Well, because I have no excuse for that. You can put this one in your pocket. It has a clip. Well, you want to talk about that? It says it's an ignition coil tester. Hey, you ever see you one? You got to do it the old way. You just stick your finger on it. Oh, I prefer my tongue. you up. I prefer I'll stick my tongue on it. I bet you would. I wonder if it's going to taste like a 9 volt battery. Let's find out. I got one over there. <laughs> so, it is a good idea though. We have a test if a coil's firing. It's not going to tell you if you got to pile that plug or nothing. But it's something. It may make life a little bit easier. Oh, Mr. Steve's coming to visit. Hello, Mr. Steve. We're talking about tools. Now, they can't see you. you got to come to yeah, this If side. you want to be on camera or not. Yeah. All right. Um, next up, guys, I got these line-style crow's feet through Sunax, uh, metric and standard. Um, started talking to my buddy Chris about these. 
about a week or so ago. And with everything we work on, I don't want to strip something out by just using a regular crow's foot, especially for, you know, tight lines and whatnot like that. So I figured these would probably be a smart thing to grab. So just something to keep in the toolbox. If I use them, great. If not, well, man, at least they look good in the toolbox, right? I don't know about the toolbox stuff, but these will get used. Oh, okay. Ignition spark tester. Yeah, you I'm an ignition coil tester. Pretty generic. Easy way to check spark on stuff that isn't quite on plug. Yes. We got a speed hand before. Because I wanted it. And it's not snap on. At least I have a snap on. Well, I was on the gear wrench truck. I'll order a snap on one just for funsies. This is gear wrench. They didn't even put their name they on it. They did put their name oh, on there it. it is, right yeah. down there. Yeah. Gear wrench 16 inch 881239. So. Speed handle. Transmission pans, oil pans. Yeah. So next up on the list, my dog decided to open the open the packaging before I could. Uh, distributor wrenches. Are those the cheapest ones you could find? They look like it. These are Duratex. They're like ten bucks piece, or ten bucks for the set. Should be the set. Yeah. Unfortunately, here you still work with distributors. Yes. Well, going through the Snap-on truck, I mean, they're they're distributor wrenches. I want are like a hundred dollar, hundred dollars a piece. So it was not really. Uh, Justifiable yet? Once I get to that point. Ooh. No. Never. They're not super comfortable. I'm, I'm comfy. I like these chairs. Uh, next up, guys. I think that we're going to be doing a lot of time. We used it. Yeah, we did already use it, it on, on the. the uh, yeah. We'll pan over to that here in a second, but yeah, we got a '54 Ford with a '454 in it, Chevy motor. Use this here timing light on it. Right, it's been a minute since I've had one in my hand. I, mean, I would have better preferred that this had an RPM gauge on it than that. It's, this one does not have. And you have to hold the little button to make it work. Yes. So I do have some complaints about that one. Do you? Well, let's get one, to One, no RPM gauge. Two, you have to hold the button to get it to work. So you can't just set it and work on something and have it still flash. So I like that input. So let's get some time on this, man. We do a review on different uh, timing gauges or timing lights. So Snap-on has a nice one. Yeah, well, all digital. Yeah. This one is analog. So I was talking to Kevin. He said something that he likes this style over the other one. So I like the other one over this one. No one cares what you like. I know. But that would be something fun to do. I may pick up a digital one just because, or for funsies, because you may need more options. But for right now, this works, does what it needs to do, and, you know, something new picked up, works out, so. And one of these days, we will be starting a podcast, don't know when. Oh, yeah, get ready for that insane nonsense that we could, uh... And the part like, number on this is 3365. Yeah, hopefully uh, less squeaky chairs on the podcast. You like that? So, guys... Uh, other than these squeaky Sonex chairs, which Facebook Marketplace, fantastic thing, brand new. Um, it may need to be tightened up, who knows. Something. Oh, that thing. Ooh. That creaks. thin metal. I'm a big boy. I'm corn fed. Do something. Oh, baby. Well, guys, thanks for watching. New tools go in the box. I'm going to turn this fan on. It is getting like stupid hot in this shop, so uh, yeah. I'll catch y'all later.